This is a subject and an idea that is so important to me. I actually climbed out of bed, it's late, and I've climbed out of bed specifically to make this video. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, um, we were out and um, we're out in a museum and the guy at the museum was asking historical questions to the crowd that was there. And he asked something about like, who's a famous person from, who's the most famous person from Granville in Sydney? He was talking about Granville. Um, and I said, Henry Lawson, the poet Henry Lawson. And he goes, that's right. And no one else knew, no one else, had, they were just, everyone else was just staring, like confused. <laughs> and my wife turns to me and she goes, you're such a know-it-all, how do you know so much stuff? And then when we're in the car on the way back, my seven-year-old daughter asked me a question and I said, I don't know. And she goes, oh, you always say you don't know. Uh, one of those scenarios I actually am proud of. And it's the second one, saying I don't know. Because to understand truth and to understand reality in the world around you, you have to be able to know your limitations of what you actually know. It's part of epistemology and part of philosophy. And it's the most important part, I think, is stopping your, your knowledge, stopping, not, not filling in any gaps, just stopping where your knowledge ends. So if you don't know something, being aware of where you don't actually know, where your limitations are. I mean, if we're going to use an example of religion, some people are religious. Some people say they feel religious, they want to be religious. Um, it makes them feel better. Some people would say they know God exists. I know God exists. And they try and convince you. They go, you need to believe in God because I know God exists. But they can't know. You, nobody can know a question like that. It's impossible to answer. And every different religion, all the thousands of different religions in the world, there's always people in there that say, no, I know. I know this is true. And if you listen to me, you'll know it's true too. But that's not honest, that's being dishonest, because nobody can know that. And the same thing goes for, like, different theories about the way the world runs, in, especially in things like politics, and about how the government runs, and conspiracy theories, and 9-11, and all the conspiracy theories are, 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 are there because people have decided to let their mind go wild and just accept what they hear without saying, I don't know this. And, and it's unfortunate because you speak to people who believe conspiracies and they never say, I'm not sure, but I think this is what happened. They usually say, no, I know this happened. I know this happened. I know, I know, I know. When they don't even know, which means that people are walking around believing things that are untrue they are confident. Usually people that believe things are that are untrue are more confident than people that have a more realistic perception of reality. But it's a fake confidence, it's not real confidence. It's a confidence just in ignorance. It's in confidence in ignorance. I remember I was talking to someone about um, the earth being flat. And I said, well, I was in an airplane the other day and you can even see the curve, why is that? And they said, because, oh, it's got to do with the windows, it curves the earth. I was in optical for 20 years and I do know that if they wanted to, if, they had, if that was actually what it was caused by, it would mean that I'd have to put a prescription in the window. So every single plane in the world has a prescription in it. Not only that, as you're, you're taking off, if it had a prescription in it, it would distort what you're looking at. So, in other words, you would have to have a rotating window that's always goes points down so that the prescription's even, so that the world has a sort of appearance of being spherical when it's not. So it's just a, such a ludicrous idea that the window can make the world look spherical. Um, it's just such a bizarre jump. And, and it also goes to show that how, fr how much we don't want to say, I don't know. Like rather than saying, I don't know, we would much go with a, with a more ridiculous, or like a, with a really ridiculous explanation. It's better to have a ridiculous explanation than to admit I don't know. And that's why I think 
that's why I'm doing this video. I think it's important to start saying I don't know and to say I don't know more. And when you're in a conversation, even if it's something you're passionate about, if you don't know the answer, say I don't know. Um, if you have a level of certainty, but then again, you don't know all the facts, like from scientifically, you don't know all the facts. Just say, you know, this is what I feel, but I don't actually know. When you're talking about things like global warming, um, like climate change, some people say climate change doesn't exist, yet they don't really know any of the science. They just hear their politics and hear what other people say to them and go, yeah, global, global, um, it doesn't exist. Global warming doesn't exist. But they don't know. They don't know because they don't know the science. When scientists are saying it does, it, it's there. Other people are going, no, it isn't. When they don't know. Like, there's, some, there's some people that are just experts on everything. On everything. But they can't be, can they? They can't be unless they're, you know, they study everything, you know, at university. They've, stu they've gone to university since they were born, since they were out of the cradle. So, yeah, I think it's important to say, I don't know. I think it's one of the most powerful things you can do is to say, I don't know. Um... Yeah, and your certainty in a particular subject should only be, should only equate to the amount of knowledge you have in that particular subject. Um, yeah, so that's all, that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to make sure that I got that across because I think one of the most important things and most, most powerful things you can do in, in your life if you want to understand truth is to say, I don't know.